New information tonight in a story we've followed since the summer. A pet boarding facility in Newport News came under fire after two dogs died from injuries suffered during separate stays. One of those dogs was Fenway, an Australian shepherd. The owner and business both faced animal cruelty charges. And the General Assembly has already filed legislation to protect future pets. Ten of your sides, Matt Gregory has more on Fenway's law. Yeah, Tom and Anita, since Fenway's death, his owners have pushed for tighter laws on boarding facilities. And one lawmaker, David Yancey, took up that cause. After a tiebreaker vote in his district, he will now be able to present that bill in this year's General Assembly. It's been months at the Fox House without pet Australian shepherd Fenway, but still memories of the family dog linger in picture and in action. It's been a process. I mean, we've we've been back and forth with our attorney and we've watched the court case change. In August, somehow Fenway got injured during his stay at Coastal Dog Services in Newport News. He died shortly after. While Newport News Animal Services looked into the case, it got the attention of the state. Someone from Delegate Yancey's camp had reached out to my wife and they kind of got the ball, you know, started and, and rolling in that direction. But before any bills could get filed, Yancey had to run for re-election, and that race with Democrat Shelley Simons ended in a tie. And by Virginia law, the winner would be decided by name drawing. All the while, Jason Fox is thinking, I really hope this goes in his favor, um, which was awesome that it did. This week, the General Assembly got underway, and with it, Delegate Yancey's bill for pet boarding facilities. And try and make certain so that for, for dog owners going forward, that they can have some assurances that their, that their, uh, their pets are well taken care of. Fox says from what he knows, the bill will make sure dogs are not left unsupervised and... The people that are supervising the dogs are trained and certified to make sure that they are ready and can see like aggressive behavior amongst other dogs. It'll be a big step if it passes in Fenway's memory. And while the family continues to recover from such a devastating loss, this winter they welcomed a new family member. Meet Lovey. She's Australian Shepherd Blue Merle, just like Fenway was, and, you know, it's good to have, you know, that sense of family back with the dog again. It's a family beginning to heal, but working to make sure no one experiences the same pain. Now, the owner of Coastal Dog Services will be back in Newport News Court on the 31st, and that will be the case that involved Fenway. Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.